uh, some cases uh, we post the depreciation and after that uh, there might be some assets uh, is not considered during executing the depreciation then how we can do this which is I'm going to show you here let's say currently this is the assets uh, we capitalized which is after the depreciation run then the users is uh, updated so for this is posted on uh, March but actually we completed our depreciation run for the March so then how you can rerun the depreciation to rerun the depreciation you just need to go to again the same transaction and enter repeat and then execute so now the system will show it will catch up the assets which are not considered with the previous run so it is not go, not not doing a double calculation but it's taking a catch up from the assets which are not considered from the previous run so now you can see it's only showing three assets but this is a different depreciation area so if you see here this is the depreciation area 20 zero one twenty thirty and thirty one so go back a remote test run and execute in background so please note when you're doing this you need to use if it is just before closing the month if you realize this you can use a repeat run so which will help you to you can use the same period the last posting period which has done the depreciation so now I'm just executing in the background immediate save so now I will go to the asset so currently the asset is not showing period 3 if you see here the period 3 is not showing why because you already completed the depreciation run before posting to this asset now you started posting depreciation so now you can see the period 3 will be shown as a posted depreciation for the depreciation under posted values here so now to see you just need to refresh so go back again so you see now so this is how the system is going to update the depreciation for the last posted period so let's say if you already done some allocations and you can rerun the allocation so the system will capture this amount also for the allocations you don't need to reverse the allocations then you just need to run the cost allocations if you have any cycles for the assessment cycle or distribution cycles so this is how you can avoid reversals so yeah so now you can see this is how the depreciation using repeat run thank you